First penalty of the ball game on his club. Second and long. And this is Coleman breaking free. Took the umpire down and crosses the 45. Carried it 11 times for an average of 1.3. <laughs> How about the umpire? So Coleman with a run of 20 and a first down for the Blue Devils. Leonard on the move. Looping it. Caught. And this is Moore. First touch of the night for Moore. 15, 10. Tracked down at the one by McMurray. He's lined up right behind the right guard. In motion. Looks like he's going to the flat. Turns up on the wheel right. Real wheel route. Makes a couple guys miss. And it is a massive play for the Duke Blue Devils. They did a great job on that drive. Couldn't ask for a better start for Mike Elko, but you know they want the touchdown here. Quick toss into the boundary. Coleman, touchdown. Back off set. Blockers out in front. Defense doesn't adjust, and it's an easy walk-in for Jalen Coleman. It's a great job. And he'll try and extend the Duke lead to double figures here. And Ham is perfect from 30 yards. Jacob Monk comes into the ball game. 2,400 career snaps in Durham. Leonard in the pocket. Now to his left. Got a lot of grass in front. He'll get the first down. Out of bounds he goes. To take a shot downfield. It's a wise decision by Riley Leonard. Sees the green grass and takes off. And a wise decision not to force the ball down. That's Calhoun in motion. Leonard looks to throw again. And looks for Calhoun. 20. And tackled at the 16-yard line. Calhoun comes across in motion. And again, slow rail route up the sideline. It's a heck of a throw. That's Calhoun in motion to the boundary. Leonard. Looks, slips it, caught, touchdown Duke. Jordan Moore. Bodies around him, but keeps his eyes downfield. Climbs up, finds his best friend. Gets the ball in the end zone. You have one chance to make a first impression, right? And this Labor Day weekend, for the last six years, the ACC's had games from Thursday to Monday. It's a great spot with some tremendous matchups. We're going to continue that as we build football in the ACC. Good. We're going to keep you here a few minutes. Mathis sacked a moment ago, now throwing on second down. And a great catch. Temple makes the grab. It's a good throw by Dewan Mathis. Rolling to his right, puts it right on Sanders, but catching it through the contact by Donica Sanders. For the young man from Fairhope, Alabama. Play fake to Moore, and a throw across the middle, and here is Samir Hagens. His name came up, Roddy and Taylor, of suspected. He's got to have one catch a year ago, and unsolicited, Kevin Johns brought his name up as one of the fastest receivers. He's got 156 on 11 for 11, now looking 12 for 12, and the tight end, Finney again, first down inside the 40, to the Temple 39 before Darrowville makes the tackle. Tight end pop pass. Play fake to the running back. You got Finney right up the seam. Off the 39. Leonard looking, going to take the shot. This is Hagens caught in stride. Touchdown, Duke. Poured it in right over the top of Elijah Clark to Samir Hagens. All this way, too, but this is some kind of dime from Riley Leonard. His 13th completion out of 13 attempts may be the most beautiful one, and Riley Leonard fired up. Reiterating to Riley, he has the keys to this thing, and he wants him to go forward with that confidence. First down give, thanks, Taylor, is to Moore, who makes two guys miss and has a first down. Jacquez Moore with a little bit more under the hood than your normal car. Trouble for Leonard, throws near side to catch, and this is Panko. First down inside Leonard Temple's 40-yard line for Eli Panko. Leonard knows he's got to get the ball out. He's going to take a hit. Still delivers an accurate pass. And then these Duke players, it's a pretty good execution by the quarterback and receiver. So first and 10, off the 24 and a half. Here's Leonard to his right, and he'll take the sack. Darian Varner.
The sack leader a year ago for the Owls registers one here, and we get a little extra five and dime. It's made. The pocket's actually pretty good, and he decides to try and escape. Runs right in to the defensive end. That's what he's going to want to have back. He climbs there. Duke in a plus field possession, starting at the Temple 49. 29 seconds left. Leonard looks up in the pocket. Now going to fail here to the left side. Has room. 30. Riley Leonard 20, and brought down at the 14. Well, it was a it was an excellent run by Riley Leonard. Gets pressure, and you see the athleticism. Able to make the linebacker Kobe Wilson miss. Gets in the open field and makes Temple pay. It looks like they're going to get Maurice Smith back, so at least you get one of your offensive linemen back. There's Leonard, a little soft shoe move to his left, and then the backside catch was made by Panko. I think it was intended for more. And Riley Leonard got away with an overthrow. Not if you ask Riley Leonard. If you ask Riley Leonard, that's exactly where he was going with the football. Just gave his receiver enough time. Apparently he did. They snap it. Here's Leonard. Long throw to the backside. And this is Calhoun breaking away down the far side and shoved out of bounds near the 25 by McCargo. To your playmakers. But this Duke team looks so much more athletic and fluid on the perimeter than they have in the last few years. Jalen Calhoun was on the roster. On the near hash mark. And Charlie Ham pushes it right through. What we saw a year ago for sure. Needed an ACC play. There's a throw and Barbone, did he hold on? He did. Terrific catch. Jose Barbone. It's a simple slant, one on one. A nice stem at the top of the route. Best pass play of the night for Mathis, who's now flushed into the near side. And this DeWan Mathis can do. Gets out of bounds. It'll be a first down at the Duke 41. But the edge rushers have been able to create some pressure against this front. 29-yard play, or 29's in the last two snaps. That was a 13-yard run following a 16-yard pass. There's a big hit. Ball pop loose on the Dillon collision. And are they going to award it to Duke? They are. Turning the receiver back in and then putting your hat on the football might have been down. We'll get a review, but for Jacob Monk tonight at the pivot. First and ten. Here goes Waters again. Left side. Jordan Waters running through Temple defenders to the 24. Well, it worked just a second ago. Let's get behind Jacob Monk in that offensive line once again. I'm not saying anybody could have run through that hole. Hit from 36 and 29. The spot on the 38 yarder. And the kick is perfect. I think wow. that that tandem could be excellent. And the running back you've talked about too. Yeah, it's Ion Evans. Ion Evans. Here is uh Dewan Mathis picking up 13 on first down. There's a team on the other side of that game, Taylor. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Look, he's got a ball on the ground. Yep, we do. Mathis was trying to hand the ball to Trey Blair, and Duke has come up with the second turnover of the ball game. Jamie on Franklin. Second time we've seen the ball on the ground on a quarterback running back exchange, just not on the same page. So getting that corrected is certainly something that Mike Elko will want to do. Coleman with a hole, 15. Bounces through inside the 10. First and goal. Beg your pardon. Jacques Moore, the sophomore from Live Oak, Florida. Stop out of the Temple Secondary as we go inside of 12 minutes to play. And get a little bit of penetration from the defensive end. They bounce it outside. Being that 22nd head coach, which ACC team uh, has had the most head coaches? Uh, that was my question to you. And then, so I guess this is our uh, unsponsored trivia question. Well, and you see Quincy Patterson get the first down with 128 to play. Tony Elliott is the 40th head coach in Virginia history. Wow. Cycling through. Yeah. Here is Patterson. Threw it up for grabs, and it's going to be caught. And the catch is made. Unbelievable grab. For a moment, looked like a Duke interception in their third turnover. Adonica Sanders just wanted it more. Yep. Comes back. If I had to wager this Temple team, both of these teams would be in much different places. Stan Drayton certainly has his work cut out for him with what he's got on the field, but Mike Elko's got to be excited, and now he's with Taylor. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.